you're watching the ugly inside subscribe below so the european championships final is finally upon us we've had three weeks of back-to-back -back football and well what do you know two southampton players are in the final jose fonte and cedric uh, joining me again to preview the european final i'm joined by luke from rita Southampton and the h6 football lads how are we doing mate very good thank you not too bad so jose fonte what a journey he's now in the european final wow <laughs> just just hearing those words is, it's a bit surreal really i mean just to think that five six years ago we saw him lining up with Raddy Jaidi in a Southampton defence coming against the likes of Craig McHale Smith for Peterborough and now going up against the likes of Antoine Griezmann in the European final. It's just, it's just mad. What, what a journey. Yeah, like you said, he came in five or six years ago, uh, dropped down a division to join us in League One, won, won, the, won the JPT. Uh, but look, what a journey for Jose Fonte. How, how do you think he'll be feeling? Do you think he'll start? If Fernando Santos doesn't start him, I'm going to be very surprised because, I mean, Pepe and Ricardo Carvalho have both had sort of fitness problems in the recent weeks. And I mean, he started with Bruno Alves against um, against Wales. So I think I think he's a guaranteed starter because basically down to the fact that he didn't put a foot wrong. I think he'll obviously be a bit nervous going into it because it is, I'd probably say, by far the biggest game in his career. Mm. But we know just how well he can cope with pressure and we know how... When you need someone to rely on, he is that man and he will always deliver for you. Well, I watched the Wales game and I would say Jose Fonte was probably one of the best, if not man of the match. Uh, what, what would, how would you summarise his performance in the semi? Yeah, exactly. I'd agree with that completely. I mean, although, aside from Gareth Bale, you, you could argue that Wales don't really have too potent an attacking threat given the um, suspension to Aaron Ramsey in that game in particular as well. I do think that even the way in which he organises his defence and the way in which he gives confidence to his teammates, that he can just dominate that defence and he can really be the linchpin in their success. I mean, like you said, he's certainly a far cry from playing against Craig McHale Smith, for example, in League One. But now he's up against Antoine Griezmann, six goals in the tournament. It's going to be tough for him to keep him quiet. It is. I mean, I've been, I've been really impressed with Griezmann. I, I like watching him for Atletico Madrid quite a bit, but... I didn't really think he'd reach these heights and be the main man for France. Obviously, it's going to be a really, really tough test for Fonte, but you've got Giroud to worry about as well. I mean, that's going to be a good physical battle, but obviously we all know what Griezmann can do and we all know that he's going to be the main man that's going to um, be the catalyst in France's game. Hopefully we don't see that hotline being. Yeah. <laughs> um, Cedric then, right back. <laughs> For Portugal, uh, he had a bit of an indifferent season for us at Saints. Um, certainly, he'll be he'll be starting again. He's he, he had, he's played the last two games for Portugal. Um, do you think he'll start? I think he will start. I mean, I said it to you in a recent video about Vieirinha. He's not he's not natural. He's not a natural right back. I mean, he spent most of his career playing at right wing, and I think that's shown in Cedric's two games or two or three games that he's played for Portugal so far in this tournament because. Bar one error against um, Poland in the first couple of minutes, which, OK, he, he was at fault for the goal. Since then, he's just taken everything in his stride. He's been an excellent, excellent player for them. Going forward, he's looked really impressive. And defensively, he's looked a lot more assured. It certainly will give Claude uh, a headache going into the into the pre-season and into the new campaign. Uh, obviously, under Koeman, it was between him and Martino. Do you think... Now that Cedric has reached the European final with Portugal, is he nailed on for that right-back position next season for Saints? I'm not sure about nailed on, but I think, obviously, we've seen that Puel's going to give everyone a chance, everyone in this squad is going to assess his options, and I really like that about him. I think that's the right thing to do. Obviously, Martin has got his qualities that Cedric hasn't, and it's the same way around. Um, I don't know, because in recent days, we've been linked with... Um, a nice, former Nice fullback, Jeremy Piet, who's um, a free agent at the moment, and Puel worked really well with him there. So mm. you never know he could come in um, on a free transfer and maybe sort of add another twist and turn to this right back saga that we've got going on. However, I'd, I'd like to see Cedric start a lot next season. I think he has got the um, he's got the credentials, he's got the quality, he's got European experience, which is going to be important as well for us from his days at Sporting Lisbon. And I think that. You know, in the second season, any sort of young, youngish player coming from a foreign league, this is going to be the season that they flourish. Great. And then just to wrap things up then, the final tomorrow, watch your score prediction. France are going into the game, hot favourites as they were at the start of the tournament, but we'd love to see Jose and Cedric 
lift that trophy. I think it's going to be really tight. I'm going to go with nil nil in normal time, and then a Portugal win at extra time, one nil. Fonte header. Oh, there we go. The <laughs> the uh, the fairy tale end to the tournament, and a fairy tale uh, for in Jose's career. But let us know in the comments below what you think. Of the uh, European final, what are your score predictions? Uh, don't forget to check out Luke over on readsouthampton.com and the H6 Football. But for now, like, share and subscribe for more. Cheers, Luke.